Zero. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. And that is simply a dagger on the way to the locker room. Now, presented by Sprint. Great to have you with us this Thursday night of NBA action. A great team effort so far by the 76ers. They're atop the conference standings and looking to defend their position. And a resilient Grizzlies team is staying in it. The outside shot just not there for them today. But that certainly hasn't stopped them from trying. We might see some adjustments after the break. Now let's check out the other games still in progress. The Oklahoma City Thunder are trailing the Knicks out in New York. Not much left to be decided in that one. And the other game also going on still. Milwaukee trailing the Kings out in Sacramento. About midway through the third out there. And that's all we got for you here in the studio. Time to send you back out to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the start of the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report presented by Sprint. We're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. The Grizzlies trail by 12. Anderson outside. Brooks. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. And for the Grizzlies, they've got Brooks. Jackson is out there with Anderson. And it's Jang in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The 76ers have converted four of seven free throws on the night. Well, they were 75% free throw shooting a season ago. And I know the free throw shooting is an area they focused on improving coming into this season. And that's good as he hits both of the shots. Now Anderson. Throws it up high. Maybe that'll ignite. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. This is, at least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. That's what those alley oops do, though. And for Memphis, they've got Shang. Anderson is out there with Jackson. Then it's Brooks. Here's Milton. A three pointer is right on target. He's got eight. Shane. That is not enough Milton. coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. The Grizzlies trail by 15. And for the 76ers. Brooks right side. Let's go. Again, the miss by Brooks. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And for Memphis, Jackson is out there with Anderson. Then it's Brooks, and it's Jang in at the five. Home in the paint. Gets it to go. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. They set the pick. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Just got a little careless on that pass. They should be able to connect on those. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Stolen. Out in his own on the break. Zero. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. Yeah, the defender draped Zero. all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him to know that there. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. You know, this is a common problem for them. Their inability to consistently knock down their free throws. The Grizzlies trail by 13. Anderson gets the screen from Jackson. Morant. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Simmons got his 6 3 bout on the night. Zero. Here's the mid. And boy, that looked like Bolton. And yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. His leads have gone two or five, shooting here in the third quarter. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Well, he's got to get everybody on the same page. I mean, that's the reason for this timeout. And if that happens, I think they can improve and start playing better. You know, it's a coach's job to always try to be two or three steps ahead of the opponent and to look for that extra edge if you can. And I think he feels like he might have seen one. Anderson passes to Dang. Drills it from outside. 
Jang's got seven for three. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Stripped away. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Oh, the coast to coast dunk. Terrible transition defense there. I think it would have been pointless, Steve. There was no way anybody was beating him to the basket there. The Grizzlies shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. Three point play. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. To the paint, and Bill. Soft touch off the glass. He's got 11. Beautiful dish down low. He dishes it to Anderson. Brooks outside. Trying to break that ice gold streak. And he bangs it home with one hand. Boy, I like the way he carved out just enough space to get his hands on the missed shot and then rattle the rim on the putback. Mm -hmm, and the gap narrow. They're closing it fast. Well, that's the effort of a team ready to fight back into this game. Brooks, left side. And he's back in business as a jumper finally drops for him. Brooks has got eight points. Philadelphia leading by seven. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. The offensive rebound. Here's and takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Carving out some space and eating a little glass at the offensive end while he's doing it. You got it with a ferocious follow. Yeah, but just another day at the office for him. That's what he does. Anderson kicks to Jackson. He passes to Dang. Backing in. Shoots it. Again, Memphis. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Zero. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Memphis ball. And it seems like we've seen more and more of these guys in recent years. Big man who can shoot the three. Over the last month, these have been the best of them. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Brooks with it. He's got eight. Jackson setting the pick here for Brooks. And he comes off the screen and slams it through. Boy, a pick was set at the perfect angle on the floor, and he used it nicely. Well, that's a play we may see from Ben a few more times. I mean, when it works, you go back to it. Make him stop you. Looked like they found the soft spot in the defense there. And Philadelphia making a change here. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the 76ers. Now we've seen them make that extra effort of rotating from the weak side, closing out on their airspace, and sending shots back. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second chance points they've been able to get. Memphis shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. The 76ers making a switch here. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Pass to Dang. Brooks outside. Inside. And it is pushed down with a nice jam. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand jam. You're right. Uh, if he's got a few more of those in him, uh, this lead will really start shrinking. The 76ers leading by six. It's blocked. Six and that's on a bounce. Going off the low chain possession. And Memphis making a change here. Anderson against Bradley. Here's Ferguson. Off target from outside. Memphis has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Kicks it to Anderson. Now 
Passes it to Brooks. Lock at six. Defended by Ferguson. The 76ers have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Where was he going with that pass? And that's just an awful turnover. And the Grizzlies making a change here. The Grizzlies trail by six. Jackson has checked in for Anderson. Jaron Jackson. One fifty-one left to play in the third. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Grizzlies have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. That free throw missing. And the 76ers making a change here. Simmons has checked in. And they can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Well, he won that battle, and in general, they're winning most of the battles tonight. Well, those are some very easy points if you can get them. Well, and like Clark said, they have been getting them, not necessarily all on putback dunks, but a lot of second chance opportunities. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. He's got nine. Ran his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. There's the pick. Number 30. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Grizzlies trail by six. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Well, it looks like he's starting to get things going here after that scoreless first half. The 76ers have gone 7 for 16 the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. Shot from 12. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Definitely a two-for-one situation here, guys. Yeah, the wise move would be to find themselves a quick shot right away. The pass to Ferguson. And easy two points on the way and the 76ers lead by six. The defense left him just a little window to get through, and he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. They set the pick to the inside. Clark lays it up and in off a pretty assist. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. No good from Simmons. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as well. The NBA season gains momentum. The Miami Heat go up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Coming your way next Monday. the fourth quarter of action getting underway we've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play the 76ers leading by four Jackson for three rebounded by Jackson not a bad look for him on that shot but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight and for Memphis he got out Jackson is out there with Anderson, and it's Clark in at the four spot. The first one falls. That one misses. Philadelphia shooting at 52% for the field. They're clicking. And for the 76ers, Curry dishes to Simmons. From eight. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Shooting for Philadelphia. Simmons. Two shots. That's good from Simmons. Oh. 
That one misses, so he goes one for two. Well, even though he couldn't get them all to fall, he did at least make it a two-possession game. So on the four for Memphis. They've got Anderson. Jackson is out there with Allen, and it's Clark in at the power forward position. Gets it to go. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Dish is to Allen. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Backing down is Jackson. Allen kicks to Clark. Six on the shot clock. And it's blocked by Simmons. Here's Milton. Excellent defense there from Anderson. He has yet to get into the flow of this game. His teammates have done their part. They need him to pick his game up. I'll tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. Now, this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. You know, nobody responds to end-of-game pressure like this guy. That's what comes to mind immediately for me. He's hit some monumental shots in his career. And some guys just embrace the moment at the end of the game, and that's him. You know, something else with him, you can't forget about his skill as a pull-up shooter. I mean, you give him too much room, and he won't hesitate for a second to raise up and spray you with that J. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? During that break, Coach Rivers had some words for his team. He told them, the game is right there for the taking, fellas, but we've got to be first. First to lose balls, first to the rim. We have to give our all right here. Kevin, now's the time. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Next quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. 76ers have gone 1 of 5 from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. For three, it's rebounded by Memphis. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it to take the lead and the layup is up and in and that's 12 points for Brooks you know they really aren't putting up any resistance on the low block that's the fifth consecutive basket inside and Steve these looks they're allowing are almost automatic oh, come on. some solid defense there from Jackson for Memphis they've gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far and it's sent back by Howard Here's Simmons, and it's blocked by Clark. Anderson up top. He kicks it to Clark. On the wing, Brooks. Now the feed to Jackson. Rebounded by Simmons. Simmons got nine rebounds now tonight. Goes as the official calls the foul. Got it. He clearly had the speed advantage there, and he used it to burn the D for the sweet hoop. Nice play. Jang, he's checked in for Memphis. Memphis trailing here. Here's Brooks. And foul hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. You look at the game so far for Brooks. 12 points, and he hasn't forgotten to get his teammates involved either. Well, that's important, Clark. I mean, he's conscious of the fact that moving the ball around gets the defense to move. It forces them to work, and it creates a better offensive flow for his own team. Philadelphia's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. And for Memphis, they're shooting 57% in this fourth quarter. It's Brooks on the wing. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. 
shooting for Memphis. Brooks. First free throw is good. And Memphis making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Second free throw, no good. He's been to the line here more than in the first. I thought he was a bit tentative in that first, but I like the aggressiveness he's showing here now. That's good. He's got 22. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. Brooks kicks to Anderson. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Brooks has got his third assist on the night. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Here's Simmons. He feeds it to Howard. Number 22. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Left side, Anderson. Gets it to go. These defenders are not putting up much of a fight on the interior. It's been embarrassing. That's 10 consecutive points allowed in the lane. And that's not the kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. Number 22. Rejected by Dang. Here's Brooks. Here's Morant. Shot is blocked. Zero. And he banks in the lane. 24 points for him. Grizzlies have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Brooks, left side. Goes up off the pick. And he dunks it after the pick frees him up. I give them a lot of credit. They didn't quit when they were behind. They really battled back here. This has been a very impressive rally. The question is, can they keep the pedal to the metal or will they run out of gas? Had the space there, but it's offline. Yeah, he's missing a lot of shots out here offensively. He just has not been able to produce in this court. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Jang, the pass to Anderson. Can't get it to go. Solid defense right there from Simmons. Goes up on the elbow. And the 76ers tack on two more. He is remarkably hot this quarter. He has yet to miss a shot. One thirty-seven left in the fourth quarter. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to one. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. What a clutch performance. He loves being in these situations, just relishes the opportunity. A lot of guys say they do, but you can see it in his face. He truly does. Here's Howard. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. It's Anderson with the drive, and that one's good. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. One and nine left here in the fourth quarter. And it's Memphis on the break. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Grizzlies lead by two. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet that they're excellent defense. I mean, they're leaving them no room to get off any shot. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. 54 seconds left in the game. On the wing, Brooks. to Dan. No good. Great D that time from Howard. So guys, it comes down to this. Time 
Kevin, for the stars to shine. Oh, hands up. And he'll go to the line. Well, they did have a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before the shot attempt. Two shots. Yeah, you really want to try to foul in that situation before he gets into the shooting motion. It just didn't work out that time. And so both free throws are good. And it's a two-point ball game. And that's how you do it, guys. I mean, free throws in a game like this can make a huge difference. Pass to Dang. Brooks outside. Tries again. Connects. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. Screen by Howell. Zero. Oh, it's no good. And we're headed to overtime. Regulation is ended and we're heading to overtime. Well, if you help break competition and neck and neck basketball action, this one has been a great one. Overtime number one. Getting going right now. And the Grizzlies start out with the ball. And away we go here with post regulation basketball. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And so in the game for the 76ers. No good from Simmons. That's one he knows he should have made. And for Memphis, they're shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's Morant out to Brooks. Here's the three. Shots good. Brooks has got the first basket here in overtime for the Grizzlies. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. The 76ers trail by three. Here's Milton. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. For the finish, rips down the breakaway slam. A one-hand tomahawk for you, folks. That's automatic highlight reel material. That got their entire bench right up and out of their chair. Yeah, that's how you get your teammates fired up, Kev. The dish to Simmons. And it's good. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise, and he went right at the defender. That's how you do it. And the Grizzlies leading by three. Outside for Jackson. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Good ball movement here by the 76 ers And that one's good. And this is great. Three pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Around two minutes into overtime now. It's been a good one. Brooks kicks to Zhang. Shot clock at six. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. A fader. And there's the shot clock violation. Didn't get the shot off in time. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. The 76ers trail by three. Zero. And it's blocked. Number 22, defended by Anderson. Here's Milton. Another three for Philadelphia. We're in overtime if you've just joined us two and a half minutes through it. Outside Jackson. Puts up a three. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Here's Philadelphia. Here's Simmons. To take the lead. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Shooting for Philadelphia. Zero. At the line number two. First free throw is good, and that gives them the lead. Second one is 
good. And both at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. Great composure at the line. A lot of pressure on those free throws, but he stepped up and buried it. Brooks outside. They need this. He lays it in. Brooks has got seven now in this quarter. And a big play there to mute the crowd. Yeah, that one kind of took all of the life out of him there, Kevin. Kind of quieted the voices in here, didn't it? The 76ers shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, they did have a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before the shot attempt. Yeah, you really want to try to foul him in that situation before he gets into the shooting motion. It just didn't work out that time. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Well, one more make would have been awfully nice, but I'm sure they're happy just to take the lead. It's Anderson with the drive, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. He knocks down the clutch free throw. So making both free throws. That'll give them the lead here. Steve, what a big possession right here. No doubt, guys. You can feel the tension in this goal. Zero. Another miss by Philadelphia. So it's the Grizzlies now. Anderson dishes to Jackson. No good from three-point territory. Philadelphia with the ball. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Six to shoot, to the middle, the time for the ball. And an intentional foul right there. They can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. There's no other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. Huge free throws there, and that could be the difference in the first. More than likely a desperation three-point attempt. A three off the inbound. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. You know, Clark, they couldn't put him away in regulation, but after a superb performance in overtime, they managed to get the job done. Yeah, 